it was in a tournament in Alamo. They were doing a grappling tournament, you know, and there was, everybody was competing no gi. At the time, I mean, I can honestly say that Johnny was gi when gi wasn't cool. You know, nobody was wearing a gi. So, and I went up to him. He beat everybody, you know, with just smooth technique. And everybody at the time was claiming jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu. So I was one of those guys that would always look to these people that were like, hey, you know what? Uh, I'll go ahead and, and learn jiu-jitsu from you guys. And um, so what happened was that I went up to him and I asked him, oh, so, you know, you're a blue belt and, and where do you train and so forth. Um, to cut the long story short, I ended up training in his garage. I was, I think I was his first student. And Johnny at the time, he was the only blue belt, at the t- you know, around. So I would drive from Elsa, like, oh, like an hour and 20 minutes to get to his Boca Chica house, you know, and, and it was pretty far, and I would do that, like, three, sometimes four times a week, you know, depending, but uh, I would try to get out there as much as I could, and, you know, we started training a lot, talking a lot, I learned a lot from him, you know, uh, the, the thing that I appreciate the most that I learned from him was to appreciate the gi, you know, I hated that thing. You know, I'll put on that thing, and he will make me put it on. And it's like, you know what? Uh, if you're going to train jujitsu, you're going to wear the gi. So, I mean, I'm very grateful for that. Um, we developed a relationship, student, you know, teacher-student relationship. And, you know, a lot of things happened. You know, um, other people started joining, and, you know, people started opening this. You know, it was, it was a long story. We were both younger then, and we both said a lot of things, you know, across him to me, me to him. You know, and pretty much, I guess, you know, we were both upset at each other. We had a fallout. And then, you know, I moved on, tried to fix things later. You know, I guess he was still with a grudge. And I'm not going to point fingers. I'm not going to say it was his fault. It was my fault. It was just something that I feel that if we would have both sat down and talked about it, I think it would have been fixed. But for some reason, you know, he wanted to cling on to that. But, yeah, we do, we do have history. He was my first BJJ instructor. And, you know, uh, I did learn from him, you know, about the gi and so forth. And, um, it, and it just went down from there, you know. Uh, I, I wish that we could have fixed things sooner. But, you know, maybe it was fate. I don't know. Well, really, I don't even remember what kind of issues, you know, or what kind of things he's upset about you know stuff that happened years ago and I tried many times to fix things with him try to talk to him you know as a professional as instructors and kind of try to fix things and so forth and obviously he's still has got issues you know and he went on and put on this this challenge on video and you know well as a as a fighter as a jiu-jitsu fighter you know, as a competitor, you know, I accept his challenge. You know, now he's just got to have to make it happen, you know. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I was told that we were going to do it behind closed doors, old school, no refs, no time limit, you know, no, uh, pretty much a fight, you know. But we're both professionals. He's got his school, I got my school. He, he's got his family, I got my family. I have no no hatred towards him to take this fight to that extreme so I mean as a competitor I think it would be best for us to settle it in the cage Uh, right now I'm walking at 178 179 the highest I think it would be good for us to meet at 175 and uh, you know he he says that in the interview that you know he runs marathons and all that and, and that's good you know but you know when it's a fight you know there's no marathon man it's a fight you know it's when it comes to jujitsu and competing jujitsu, you know that's 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 a specific sport. But in the cage, is different. You know, we're not gonna be running for marathons, or we're not gonna be trying to get points, or you know, it's a fight. Anything can go. I understand. He can catch me with a submission, or I can catch him, or he can catch me with a knockout, and vice versa. So, but that's the beauty of this sport, you know. So I accept his challenge. Now I hope that he makes it happen and. You know, let's 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 do it. Hopefully, he can get his best four guys, and I'll get my best four MMA guys, and maybe we can make it to where it's Brownsville versus McAllen. You know, if if we're gonna if we're gonna take it to this extreme, why not just go out with a bang? You know, make it make it good for everybody. 
you know, I'll get my guys, I'll get four or five guys, different weight classes, and he gets his guys, and then me and him meet in the finals or, or in the main event, and we'll give the, the crowd a, a, a real, real good, good, good uh, performance, you know. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, like I said, you know, I've tried to, to meet up with him to fix things before, and to him, this is the best solution. And he put it out on video that he wants to fight. So now it's going to be like, you know what, uh, let's do it. You know, we're going to have to do it. Afterwards, he mentioned, you know, about Matt Hughes and BJ Penn, how they fought to become friends. You know, I mean, uh, I don't know, man. Going back to elementary, you know, I was taught that you just talk things over, shake hands, be friends. But I don't know. I don't know where Johnny went to school. So I guess we're going to have to do this. You know, we're going to do this, and um, the, the best man will win. I, I did, One of the things that I learned about Johnny was the importance of, uh, you know, staying fit, you know, eating clean and stuff like that, because I would see it. You know, he wasn't the type of person that would tell me, hey, you know, you have to do this and then not do it himself. So, I mean, I would go into his kitchen, and I would see all these vitamins, and, you know, I mean, he, he practiced what he preached. So it would be a true honor, I mean, he challenged me, and I never had the intentions to fight him. But since he issued out the challenge and I accepted, it would really be an honor to fight him because, you know, it would be like, you know what? This is the seed you planted. And even though I went my route, you know, my foundation lies with Johnny's teachings. So, I mean, he was the one that taught me the foundation, and I'm very grateful to him for that. And I think he is going to see that when he fights. It's going to be kind of like... Um, uh, you know, me sparring with my students, you know, the tough, my, my tough students, they help me get ready for competition. You know, they have like a mirror image of me, so they always push me. And I, I think I picked up a lot from him too. Almost two years of training, you know. So hopefully, it, you know, he'll be impressed. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Johnny, I don't have any hard feelings towards you. Uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, hopefully you can make it happen. It'll be exciting. And, uh, Hopefully you can get your four or five guys, and I'll get my four or five guys, and we'll give uh, we'll give the public uh, a real good show.